If I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake, hired a band. Goodness sake, if I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. How'd you do? How'd you do? How'd you do? Hi, I'm Dawn, and I'm going to show you how to prepare your pan for cake baking. <clears throat> this is how I do it. Today I'm using nine inch rounds. This is, oops, I have one contour and one standard, okay? Now I just made one batter, one batch of batter. Technically that would fill up one pan, probably most of this pan, but I'm gonna split it between the two because I want two thin layers. So I'm gonna prepare your pan the same way regardless. Okay, so take your wax paper or parchment paper, doesn't matter to me. And yes, you can use wax paper. Yes, that is food safe. Yes, yes, yes. We all ate wax lips growing up, and we all need to tell about it. I'm going to fold this. I'm going to keep folding. You know, you know, I guess I should undo it and show you again. First, I'm going to fold it into a triangle. I'm going to fold it again. Fold it again, fold it again. I fold it until I get it pretty skinny because then it's more accurate. You're going to kind of eyeball the middle of the pan and you want that's where you want to cut. Okay, so I've eyeballed the middle of the pan and I guarantee it's going to need to be a little bit shorter than that. Alright, go. Perfect. It fits perfectly. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this one. spray the bottom because the parchment paper or the wax paper is at the bottom. I'm just going to spray the spot sides and I spray them liberally because I like this gives your cake a crispy crust. If you don't like a crispy crust, and I don't mean crispy like toast, you know, just that nice brown crust. If you don't like that, use Crisco. I don't use flour. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Flour and water makes mud and I don't want mud on my cake. All you need is a fat. Okay, so there we go. Okay, I'm going to put these back in here. And there you go. Your pans are prepared. I actually put too much in this one. Sally easy fixes. There we go. Now smooth this out. And there we go. All right, now I am going to use magic strips. It makes my cake come out flat. I swear by them. If you don't own magic strips, they're really cheap to make using tin foil and paper towels. There are directions all over the internet on how to do that. Okay, we're back. It's a couple of hours later. I've taken my cakes out of the pans. I have inverted them. I, they have cooled down. They're, they can be handled. Life is good. All right. So I want to show you about these magic strips. To see how nice and flat. There is no dome on this cake. No dome. Isn't that cool? No dome. <laughs> so. 
So, oh, let's see if I can hold this. So anyway, see how nice that is? Very little doctoring is going to have to be done. I'm holding it a little crooked. Very little doctoring is going to have to be done. Very little. No domes to cut off. No waste. Life is great. All right. So decorate, proceed as you normally would. And I think that's all I have to share right now. I hope you enjoyed it. I, it was really basic cake baking 101. I mean, it doesn't get any easier or any beginner than this. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot. See you around the corner. Bye. If I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. Hired a fan. Goodness sake, if I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. How'd you do? How'd you do? How'd you do?